Hey guys. Oh, so today I wanted to talk about forgiveness work. Um, it's not the most favorite topic to, to talk about because the ego doesn't like to forgive. It doesn't like to, um, it likes to argue. It likes to, you know, fight. Um, it likes to get what it wants. It's not a very pretty picture when the ego is running your life instead of your heart. And so I wanted to talk about this topic because it's very important to understand that if you want peace in your life, if you want anything lasting and thoroughly, a thoroughly loving experience, you have to really... Um, Walk through the process every single day, or, or I should say work through the process every day of for the forgiveness work of yourself for your actions and your words, and also through how you interact with others, how they interact with you, um, and circumstances. You know, uh, uh, so many people blame God for things, you know. <sighs> To me, that's just not logical. Um, with my, with my, the, what I, sorry, I'm getting a call. With what I believe to be true about how we incarnate, that we chose to come here, and that we also are unconditionally loved by God, and God is allowing us to have whatever experience we want to have, whether that's good or bad, or in between. So I wanted to flesh out, flesh out, um, the the forgiveness work process because it's so important to gaining the peace and the the vitality and the love that you want in your life if you don't do that then you're you're set up for a life of misery honestly and so i honestly i'm just going to be very real here of course i'm always real um in my own life I have gotten to the point where I cannot put up with more drama. I have enough of it in my life. And I'm, I just can't deal with any more. You know, you get to that threshold, you know, like you, you, you build up, you build up with the drama. And then all of a sudden you're like, what, what the, what the F, what, what am I doing? You know, like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I doing this to other people? No, no more, no more. So for an example, when someone comes at me with, um, with a, a snarky comment or, you know, gets mad at me or, or vice versa, I get mad at them. If I get mad at them, I just walk away. I just walk away and let them process their own emotions because they're responsible for their emotions just like I am responsible for my emotions and dealing with it in here. And it's it goes both ways. So when, you know, I get mad at someone, I walk away. When they get mad at me and they say something mean to me, as much as I possibly can, instead of allowing it to trigger me and to ruin my day, and to cause pain in my body and in my mind and poison me, I'm going to choose love and forgiveness and walk away from it and allow them to process and for me to process. Because obviously when you get mad or you get or you start crying, there's a trigger there. And that's something, it's actually a blessing in disguise, honestly, because then you're allowed to work through it. You're, you're allowed to see what's going on in your own consciousness. That's, very, that's a very important insight to have. Is, that's the, is the observer thing that I always talk about in my videos, stepping back, being the observer. What's causing this right now? Why are you mad? Why are you angry? Why are you sad? Why are you frustrated? Um, and, and vice, you know, on the other side of 
the coin, you know, why are you so, why are you so happy? That's your inner guidance system telling you this is the way to go. You know, you, you always have guides. You always have teachers in the other realms as well as in life. And they're always pointing you in the right direction. And when you feel good inside, that's, that's the, that's the nudge to keep going in that direction. Even if there's still, there's going to be challenges either way. I mean, um, <clears throat> being human is we, we, we have challenges. I mean, that's just the bottom line. So when we are looking at forgiveness and I'm talking about towards other people, also towards ourselves, we have to understand that we are all on our own journeys and the way we look at life, the way we see life, the way the, the, the lens rolls in our heads or the camera rolls in our heads is completely different from the next person to you, you know, whoever it is in your life or a, a complete stranger. We don't know what's going on in their heads. We don't know their past experiences. We don't know what their destiny is. And so we have to, that it's the, in that moment that we decide to choose forgiveness and to move on. Because if we don't, then we're going to create a lot of unnecessary drama in our lives that just create suffering for us. And instead, we what we could be doing is continuing our forgiveness practice. And I'm not saying to let people run over you. That is a completely different story. You do not let people run over you. You do not condone um, emotional abuse or physical abuse. You don't condone that. And I have personally, you know, experienced some of that um, in my lifetime, and it's not fun. Um, I think most of us probably have, especially the emotional abuse. But what I am saying is that we have to we have to put ourselves the forgiveness practice. We have to put ourselves in other people's shoes and to see where they they are coming from and why are why are they acting the, the way that they are. Why are we acting the way that we are, you know, to, to be the observer, to, again, to stand back, be the observer, and to really think about what it is that, how we want to overcome those triggers and the, the, the past wounding that is hindering us from rising above to where we want to be. So anyway, I feel like that is complete for today. And um, I hope that you are having a good day thus far. And I love you guys very much. Signing off. <laughs>